One of the success stories in the NASA's Johnson Space Center's innovation program is the remote control or RC helicopter rover project. A group of young JSC engineers came up with this project to provide an inexpensive route to gain scientific data for NASA. The Johnson Space Center director had asked JSC personnel to come up with innovative ideas and present them to the innovation board where they would be evaluated and if chosen, might be funded. In the spring of 2010, when you know, Mike Coates put out the innovation challenge, many places around NASA, including in Orion where I was at, started looking at what could we do, what, what, what do we have that we could bring to the fore and maybe uh, innovate something or, or, or look at something in a different way. And I work in the cockpit group in Orion in the vehicle integrations office and we do a lot of design on the displays and controls of the vehicle. And we also had a, an asset called a, a, a remote cockpit van left over from the days of the X-38. It had been mothballed. You know, what can we do with this that maybe would uh, help what we're doing in Orion or maybe bigger around the center uh, with different new ways of doing business? I wonder if we did something and downsized and went smaller and controlled our own platform. And so the idea of a small helicopter and a small rover was kind of born. So we had a low cost way of uh, putting a vehicle out in the field that could move on the ground or move in the air and carry sensors around where we could study different uh, display feedback, uh, ways of piloting, controls, displays, that type of thing. Another thing I'm very, very grateful for is the people that work directly on this project. Um, all of them are very motivated, very exciting. There's a real sense of urgency you can see on the project to go above and beyond all the time. I feel very fortunate to be uh, able to be part of this innovation program. It's been an exciting uh, opportunity for us. I think everybody on the team would, would say the same thing. Um, we were fortunate in that we got a very small amount of funding to go do this, but I would encourage folks to not only look for these calls and, and, and submit ideas, but even if they aren't chosen, you can be innovative amongst yourselves about uh, how you can do this even without a small seed money. There are other ways to partner with folks. They have resources, they have hardware, they have software, they have certain skills. And, you know, there's kind of no, no end to getting a small consortium of people that are excited about a project together and what they can comp accomplish together.